Hey peeps, welcome back to another GYO surgery series lecture. This one's on pelvic and periodic lymph node dissection. We'll mainly be going over the boundaries with a few pictures sprinkled in to help us visualize where we're doing this dissection. The goal of any lymphadenectomy is complete removal of all the lymphatic tissue from areas where we predict nodal mets can be present. We're going to be going over pelvic and periaortic lymph node dissection, so mainly looking at ovarian and endometrial cancer, um, but we also will be touching base on sentinel lymph node dissection, which is not complete removal of all lymphatic tissue. Ideally, you're just removing that one sentinel lymph node. Okay, let's start with our pelvic lymph node dissection. We'll go through the borders here. The cephalad border is the mid portion of the common iliac artery, and I have pictures on the next couple slides. Laterally, it's the psoas or the genital femoral nerve. Medially, it's superior vesical artery. There are some resources that will name the ureter as the medial border, but I would say um, gold standard is superior vesical artery. The caudad border is the deep circumflex iliac vein, and the dorsal boundary or the floor is the obturator nerve. So here's a really nice picture, probably one of the nicest pictures that I've seen thus far. So your cephalad um, boundary is mid portion of the common. So you're seeing that here. Laterally, you have your genitofemoral nerve, and you can imagine the psoas running here with it. Medially, you have your superior vesicle artery. So you have your internal coming down and likely superior vesicle giving off potentially the uterine with water over the bridge here. Um, so when you're doing your dissection, you'll see this running here. Caudad, the deep circumflex iliac vein. Rarely we're seeing this during our dissection, but you do sometimes. And then dorsally, your obturator nerve or the floor. And so um, if you kind of turn your head sideways to look at this like you'd be looking at it laparoscopically this this is more of how you see it open laparoscopically you're kind of seeing it sideways um, if you turn your head and actually I have a picture coming up here um, so this is open because um, you can see here it's open um, and you have your external iliac vessel here uh, your psoas is here here's your IP and then ureter you can't see the superior vesicle, you can't see the obturator. Um, so you can't really see the majority of the borders, but this I feel like is just a good representation of kind of what the channels look like in a sentinel lymph node dissection. And the most common place for those sentinel lymph nodes will be kind of overlying your external iliac vessels. And we know that based on our fires trial, um, which is where this figure is from and this information, we know that the sentinel lymph node most likely will map to the external iliac and then second most common is obturator and kind of from there goes down this list um, so those are the borders and let's move on to the periaortic lymph node dissection okay so boundaries for our periaortic lymph node dissection cephalad you're gonna have your ima laterally you'll have your ureters Medially, you'll have the aorta or the inferior vena cava, and then caudad is going to be the middle of the common iliac artery. The proximal dissection is usually only extended to the IMA unless you need to do a high lymphadenectomy, and then you would go up to the renal veins. This is a nice, um, a really nice clip um, from Up to Date, which talks about the resection of the nodal tissue over the distal vena cava from the level of the IMA to the mid-right common iliac artery between the aorta and the left ureter, and then from the IMA to the left mid-common iliac artery. So um, here you have ureter here, ureter here, mid-common, IMA, and this is kind of t showing you some of the most common places to do this period, not all of these obviously, um, but coming over the aorta here, your IVC, you also have some spaces laterally that, um, and here's your ureter. So you always have to be aware of where your ureters are during this dissection. Um, and there's a nice little border right there. Here are my references and some of the references for the photos are on the screen there, but I hope that this was helpful and leave any questions in the comments. Thanks.